Let's add a custom bush to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found some back and tell you once more. And in this tutorial, we're adding a custom bush to Minecraft. This, of course, will include a custom berry. So it's basically a custom berry bush. And for this, well, it's going to be very similar to the custom crop that we've added last time. So in the block custom package, we're going to right click new Java class. And this is going to be the honey berry bush block over here in this case. And what we're going to do is we will simply extend this from the sweet berry bush. So we're going to then going to hover over this create constructor matching super. Of course, if the parameter name annoys you, click on this shift F6 and we can rename it to properties. And what we can actually do is go into the sweetberry bush, control left click on it, and we can actually see, well, this is a basic sweetberry bush block with a maximum age, an age property here. So basically, it's going to be a very similar sort of construct that we've seen in the crop, like I said. If, of course, your custom bush has a different age, right? So if it doesn't go from 0 to 3, but maybe from 0 to 7 or something like that, then, of course, you will need to change these integer properties in your class over here but in our case we actually don't need to the only thing we need to do is we need to overwrite the get clone item stack method right here where we will make a deliberate error because well the the actual berries that we want to use here haven't been implemented yet and then the other thing that we can do is inside of the sweet berry bush we can literally just copy over the use without item method as this is a method that when the age is fully grown so when the berry bush is fully grown then we can right click it and we can get some sweet berries from it. And we're just going to copy this entire thing over. And here, once again, we're going to change the item's sweet berries to a deliberate error where we're going to add our custom berries in just a second after we have registered those. And with this done, we pretty much have everything we need in terms of the class. Of course, the two errors here will be fixed in a second. First of all, though, let's register the block itself. And this is, of course, going to happen in the mod blocks class where we will do the following a public static final registry object of a type block and this is going to be our honey underscore berry underscore bush equal to once again blocks.register once again using blocks.register instead of the register block method because the berry bush itself once again the item the block item associated with this block is going to be the berries themselves so then register here this is going to be of course the honey underscore berry underscore bush and then a supplier of a new honey berry bush block passing in a full copy of so of a full copy and we're going to copy over the entirety of the sweet berry bush once again do note that in 1.121.3 uh, you can only copy over the sweet berry bush over here if the age properties are the same right because of course that we've seen the we've seen the class over here and the integer property over here this one has to match the same with your custom one otherwise it's not going to work but in this case because it will work or because it's the same, it's going to be fine. And as always, of course, all of the code is also available to you down below. So no worries there at all. And then we can actually get the berries themselves. So this is going to be in the mod items class, public static final registry object of type item. And there's going to be the honey underscore berries. Berries, there you go. Item start register. This is going to be the honey underscore berries. And the second parameter here is once again, a supplier of a new item name block item passing in first of all mod blocks dot honeyberrybush.get and the second parameter here are just going to be new properties with of course a food call over here because well obviously berries can be eaten so in the mod food properties we're just going to duplicate our kohlrabi over here and we're going to change this to honeyberry and this is going to be a little bit different of course no invisibility is going to be given over here and we're also going to make it that you can eat it fast and then when it comes to the nutrition let's do a two here and maybe a one 0.15 over here as for the saturation that's going to be awesome let's add this right here mod food components obviously this is not like strictly necessary but if you have berries well then you might as well add the food property over here and then let's add it to the creative mode tab that's going to be the berries there you go and we can actually close everything except for the honeyberry bush where we can then finally return the honey berries over here and what we can also do oh this is also a, a item stack so obviously we need to make a new item stack of exactly this there we go. And then here, the same thing goes where we simply inside of the item stack return honey berries. And now the entire berry bush over here, our custom berry bush is going to work with honey berries. So with our custom berry, we can then move on to data gen where we will start with first and foremost, of course, 
It's going to be the loot. Now, the loot is going to be quite interesting. I will copy this over. Uh, this is going to be looking like it's going to look a little bit crazy, uh, but that's totally fine. So first of all, we are going to have one error over here, but that is a very, very, very easy fix. And that easy fix is literally just adding this one right here. So we want a holder lookup registry lookup of an enchantment. Be reason being, if you have fortune, well, then what you want to do is you want to apply a fortune bonus, right? So if you destroy the honeyberry bush, then you want more honeyberries to drop if you have a fortune enchantment. Very simple to understand. That's how a lot of things work. Now, because the sweetberry bush is sort of a singular, you know, a singular block, it doesn't have like there's no no more bushes in that instance or no more hun uh, berry bushes. That is why this is basically sort of um, laid out like this instead of having it more generalized like this create crops drop uh, method, right? This is just like laid out like that. And that is also the same inside of the, I believe it is the vanilla loot, if I recall correctly, vanilla block loot. There we go. That should be the class over here. And if we were to go to the sweet berry bush, we can actually see exactly what I basically copied over, just formatted tiny bit differently, right? You can see it is literally exactly the same, except of course, we're dropping honey berries and the block that we're looking for for the age property is the honeyberry bush. Simple as that. It's it shouldn't be anything crazy over here. Yeah, it looks pretty crazy, but when you look through it like line by line, you're going to say, "Oh, this is actually fairly straightforward." Uh, if you of course want to change this, that is a little bit more complicated, I will say that, but uh yeah, that's basically the idea for the loot. When it comes to the block state, well, the block state, once again, is one of those things that is a little bit of a bummer because we will need, once again, a new make bush method and a new states method. I'll be copying those over, as always, linked in the description below. So no worries there at all. But that is basically what we're going to need. So then make bush. This is going to be for mod blocks dot honeyberry bush dot get dot cast. I'm going to cast this to a this sweetberry bush is going to be fine. And then the second parameter is going to be the name. This is the honey underscore bush berry underscore bush underscore stage. And then what we can do is simply duplicate this string with the comma for the texture name here as well. And that's going to be all we need in this case. Of course, once again, if you have multiple bushes, possibly with different ages, then you will have to note that the states over here uses the same age. So do keep that in mind that you might have to change this up. But if that is the case, uh, if all of them like basically match, then you can reuse that method in theory. Then we have a item model provider because, of course, the honeyberry needs a well. They they do need a basic item over here, and I believe that should be it for a data gen in this case. Absolutely fantastic, and we can move on to the assets. Let's start at the bottom over here for the translation. First of all, similarly to the kohlrabi crop, I recommend just adding the honeyberry bush over here as a translation because, you know, that's like super easy. And then, of course, the honeyberries. Very straightforward. And then we have this and then we can actually add the textures, which, of course, will also be available to you down below for download. First of all, the honeyberry bush stages over here, zero to three in this case, and then the honeyberries as an item. And that is going to be everything we're going to need. So having added all of this, what we can do is simply run the data gen over here and let this run through, let the JSON files generate. And well, I mean, and once those are done, let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, are back in Minecraft once more and let's take a look. You can see the honeyberries have been successfully added to the game. And if I set them down, you can see I can grow them to honeyberry bush blocks and, you know, I can even get those freaking berries. And yes, I can even farm them if I really wanted to. That is absolutely freaking fantastic. And of course, if they're, you know, grown a little bit more and I go into survival mode, well, I go through them, then of course I get hurt just like a normal berry bush. And that is custom bushes added to Minecraft. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about custom ore generation. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.